Hello there, friends. Welcome back to Let's Play Hi. Wolfenstein, The New Order. Yes, I'm here. And it's BJ, not William. They're making a pickup. You find a way to get down on the roof of that prison transport bus. You hide on that roof and you can ride it all the way into Eisenbach prison. I go down and distract the guard. Uh huh. Distract him how? I feel attached to you. Also, your biological clock is probably ticking. And you're just using me. But who knows? Maybe she actually does care. The whole, um... That does look fucking cool, though. Um, the whole, like, nurse taking care of the wounded soldier thing. It's a classic. Alright, let's do this. Team Blaskowitz. On the go. Alright. So before I get started here, I just want to point out that this uh, level is a... Uh, it's a little bit of a longer one, even though it doesn't only really, doesn't really have a uh, what is this? Something like uh, 12, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Um, yeah, 11 of collectibles. There's no health upgrades. So that's what I wanted to say. I just uh, got cut off in my own brain. So anyways, here, right off the bat, is Erdmann's letter. So, uh, to Father Helmut Hoffman, the Berlin Church of the Third Reich. I, uh... Aya Chucho, Peru, um, 1955. Dear Father Helmet, uh, did you know that in the mythology, the indigenous groups of Peru, the Kech Quechuan people, there's a figure called Pishtaku, or the Butcher. They describe him as a white murderer dressed in a poncho and a white brimmed hat carrying a sickle who extracts the fat from the bodies of the Quechuans he kills. Quechuans? Quechuans? Que whatever. Uh, it may sound strange, but I think it speaks volumes of the relationship between the indigenous people of this land and the Spanish conquerors who came here long ago. I've been thinking about the Pishtaku uh, more and more recently with an accompanying anger brewing in my heart. A month ago, I lived close to a family of Quechuans here in Ayacucho, uh, trying to convert them to the Roman Catholic faith. I became friends with their youngest child of the family, a boy named Hatsu, which apparently means bird of the Andes. Hat Hatsu... Hastu, Hastu, has been my guide in all things relating to the culture of the Quechuans. Quechuans? Whatever, I'm going to stop trying. It's fine, uh, it's uh, quite fascinating, even though I weep for them that they may never come to the paradise that they can, unless they convert to the faith. Uh, two weeks ago, I climbed the mountains of the Andes together with Hastu to visit the sacrificial grounds of the Apis, uh, the mountain gods, Apus. Um... The view from up there was breathtaking, what little breath I had left after that steep climb. I was to be an observer during the ritual to the gods, which involved the sacrifice of a llama. There was, uh, I was to take notes and record their strange rituals and the paraphernalia thereof. Then our soldiers came. I remember a Keshwan shaman calmly walking up to the officer in charge. The officer leveled a gun at his head and shot him clean through. I shouted at them, What are you doing? And he said, Stay out of this, father. This is a sanctioned purge. I started killing indiscriminately, killing everything that walked or tried to crawl away to safety. I managed to get Hastu to run away before one of the soldiers knocked me out with the butt of his rifle. I woke up, and there were no Keshwans left in Ayachucho. They were just gone. I searched for Hastu, but I couldn't find him. Either he was found in a shot, or he managed to stay hidden up in the mountains. It pains me to see all these atrocities committed by my people. I'm reminded once again of the Pishtaku, the white murderers who came here and slaughtered these people for their own evil purposes. Can you speak to someone, Helmut? Someone who can put a stop to this nonsense, this barbaric nonsense? It cannot go on. In the name of the Lord. I have packed my bag, bought warm clothes and sturdy shoes. I have even gotten hold of a gun for protection. Tonight we'll go up to the mountains and search for my friend Hats, Hastu. And uh, I hope to see a new dawn when I return. Wish me luck. Your devoted friend, Father Erdman Kruger. Huh. Sorry if I, uh, butcher some of those readings. I'm definitely not the most well-practiced as far as reading off of a script. I'm more of a stream-of-consciousness speaker. Anyway, next up in this little workshop area, we have this guy here. But he needs a battery. This one here, which is arcing lightning. Not at all dangerous to pick up. We'll just slap it on in there. Battery's low. Needs a recharge. And so how do we recharge batteries, you might ask? Well, if we go up these stairs here, 
and miss. Go up these stairs. We have this guy here. So these little panels will be around the world, um, and they'll be the little device that you use to help charge this little laser cutter. Now in here, which we might have missed, is a gold plate. And that's what it looks like. More like a bowl to me. Plates are usually more flat than that, but that's, I guess it's more like a saucer. Alright, that's what it looks like. And now, if we cut our way through here, and then through here, we can continue. Oh, hang on. A little bit too fat for me. A eh, little bit more. There we go. Come on. There we go. Now, before we make this jump, although you can jump back, I'm pretty sure. Right back in here, there is another gold thing. There we go. Oh, come on. There we go. Reach in and grab it. Before we jump, I'm going to recharge my thing one more time. And I uh, said a little bit of spoilers before I picked up that golden frame. Oh shit, I actually didn't show you what that looks like. There it is, gold frame. Uh, I spoiled that we're going to be jumping. Those handles look like gold to me. But here we go. And jump. Made it. And just in here, there's another window. And I hear someone... Step stepping around. Where is he at? Is he over there? Hello? Eh? He's gonna turn around, isn't he? Quit doing tricks, BJ. Let's open this one up. And this little part becomes pretty tricky because there's more than a few folks in here. Got some over there. What when he he thought he saw me. He probably did. Just need to be very careful. Yes, there's someone here. Alright, now's our chance, I think. Huh? You didn't hear nothing. You didn't see nothing? Let him pass. Come around and try to get this guy. And then this guy. Uh, never you mind. Get the dog. Die, die, die. Thank you. And there's one more. He kind of, have he actually found me? He's probably actually seen me. It's hard to tell with this, these stealth sections, but we'll see if we can't get him. Ow. Stab, stab it, stab. There. Yeah, fighting with uh, the knife is actually quite difficult. Anyways, here's some files here. I'm going to need those for later. And then here's a map. And let me just show you what it looks like. I remember how to use it. There you go. And if you actually see, there's this little room right here that looks like there's a door to it, but there's just a wall over there. Hello? Müller. Müller. get over it. Uh, some inner office drama. Anyway, there's this filing cabinet here with a door that's open. If we put these files in here and just close it, then some secret hatch opens up. Which, like, you know, why the files are necessary for that, I don't know. But in here is some Enigma codes. And we're continuing on. 
could use some health. Did you have the dog food in here somewhere? Dog food restores some health, right? Oh, there's something. Yeah, that last guy, he was a real pain. Did, did a number on me. Here's some music up ahead. Uh, still smoking cigarette. Hello. Oh, how nice. He's enjoying some some music and maybe is that coffee that he's got there? Yeah, or a cigarette? Yeah, a cigarette. I'm not sure if this is a German version of a famous song from this era, but it might be. I'm not cultured enough to know what it is though, so sorry, you can't enjoy it either. Now, did you have a gun on you? No, none of you guys have guns on you. On his desk though, is another Enigma code. We can't stop the music. <laughs> Yeah, keep it up, honey. Wonder who might have been in that car. I don't necessarily recognize that car, but. I wonder if these are going to be more of those uh, super soldiers eventually, or if these are rebels. Quit doing tricks with your knife, it's the only one you got, and you're in a very precarious position. Alright, and jump! I made it, sweetheart. Thumbs up. Be safe. No, that's concrete, probably. No, concrete. Concrete for miles. There you go, you got it. <laughs> what if there's anything in this world worth saving? Desolation. Tyranny. Enemy of endless might. Anyone that ever had any friends left standing. It has been 14 years. Good parking job, you hit the fucking pulse. For the record, this is still uh, chapter four. So, if I was in that um, commander's position, right, and I was being interrogated for information of like where people are, it would be a pretty smart idea to be like they are in the most secure area that I can think of, right? It's like the Fort Knox of uh, places to be, right? So that you know. They don't know if you're telling the truth or not. You've given them an answer, something to go on, and then like, how are they gonna know? They could try to figure it out, I guess, but like, yeah, if they do try to go in here, they're likely gonna get themselves killed and found. Um, so let's just get this guy taken out. And let's, we can cut these chains that are glowing with the laser cutter. No problem. And now this little tricky area. I'm not really sure the best way to deal with it, but the way that I have dealt with it, I'll show you. Just gotta be very, very careful, very slow, methodical. Could use some dog food, thank you. And we unlocked the ability to throw a knife uh, with the middle mouse. Gefangene, vergessen Sie nicht, dass Sie bei jeglichem Widerstand gegen Umerziehungsmaßnahmen der umfassenden Gewalt des Strafvollzugs so ausgesetzt werden. Obviously, don't want to be seen by these things with the you know the rave light show going on. There's one over there. There's one over there. 
there's a guy that's going to be coming down this hallway. Kind of like to have both of these open just for the option. Okay, he's coming. You can kill them with the laser, but it's not very good. It's kind of bullshit that none of these guards have guns on them. Okay, there's one more guy. And I've lost track of him. Where is he at? I think he's over that direction. Oh, there he is. Okay. Let's be careful. Oh, did he see me? Let's move, let's move, before he gets to the end of his little patrol and turns around, we should be able to reach him. Just like that. Alright. Now that we're over here, we get another little area to recharge our ship. And now, from this point, my memory is a little bit hazy, I don't exactly remember what the next part has in store for us, but... It's alright, we'll get through it. I do know that there's going to be something coming up. Right over there. Oop, hello. Let's see if we can't use our newfound... Oh, there he goes. I was going to say we're going to throw a knife at him, but... We'll use that as a last resort, how about... Yeah, just stay turned around. <laughs> I gave him a little love tap there first, for some reason. Just, eh. Okay. Now, in here, to the left is danger, to right is safety. See? Danger! Safety. And then we slide, and then we cut this chain. Before it comes down after us. Alright, now, just down over here, is a little place we can fall down. You can also cut those uh, gates as well, but you want to get down here. There's some armor and health in case you need it. And here's an Enigma code. Very, very, like, bullshit placement for it. But, I guess it's a collectible. It's not meant to be easy. Now, I forget. That's right. Up here. Da, 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 da. Now, I don't blame this guy for being caught unawares. Like, that's a... I would never expect someone to come from behind me in like a corridor like this where you can literally see where you like every little nook and cranny. I guess except for the one spot you can't see. There's not a rug there. What are you wiping your shoes on? All right, continuing onwards. The classic, get him in the toilet while they're taking a leak. You done? You done? Eh? Yeah. Oh, you're done now. And yeah, of course, they didn't, they don't actually model anything, it's just meant as a little classic trope. Sneak up on someone while they're doing the deed. Okay, little puppy. Just stay sleeping, okay? You too.
Poor doggy. It didn't ask for this. And you're sleeping too, yeah? Funk. Ah! Alright. We're maxed out on armor, so all these helmets are gonna be. Oh! Forgot about that guy. Stab, 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 stab. <laughs> Shit. Alright. Now, if we continue on from this way. There should be a little guy over here on the radio or whatever. Don't worry, friends, I'll get you out of here. There's an enigma code right there and some very horrible quality security cameras. And if we need some health, we can just like that. Flawless. Get that out of the way. But over this way is another little recharge station if you need it. And let me think. There was another little something. Where do we come from? This way, right? Yeah. So if we go... Wait, I'm turned around now. Damn it, I knew this would happen. Need the key, that's right. So the key is... In here. I know it. Uh, shit. Forgot where the key was. Oh, that's right, right here. I knew I, I knew, I knew that. Um, is this math correct? Eight times nine is seventy-two. Seven plus two equals nine. Eh, whether it's true or not, I don't know. I don't understand the math, but ends in nine, and I know Germans understand that. Anyway, here's where you put in the key. And down here is a very little nifty room. They load coal. Got a robot down there doing the dirty work for them. Over here, someone we're continuing to stalk. Be very quiet. Don't never you mind all of the shuffling you hear behind you. Maybe the helmet prevents you from being able to hear very well. But just down over here. Don't wrap me out now, robot, okay? There's a gold nugget in that all that coal. That's what it looks like. A little, little turd. Anyway, one more gold nugget, two more name the codes to find. Onwards we go. someone up here but I've lost track of him he's probably behind me or something oh there he is he's not very concerned for movement that he sees I think that's all, but there's a little battery here. And that upgrades our laser cutter. So we can be able to shoot with it now. Just like that. It does take a lot of energy to do. But if we continue onwards, it also cuts through um, chains like that, no problem. Calm down, you little shit. 
This is where we were actually. So you can switch between the shooting mode and the cutting mode. No, no, no. You don't jump up here and you get me. I wonder if... Can we... Switch between modes here. Can we actually kill it if we shoot it enough times? So long story short, no we can't. That big old gate ought to keep him busy. Floor two, cell block B. Yeah. He was still talking, even though his friend had died and he had turned around. Whatever, it is to be expected, I suppose. Now, I don't think there's anything in this little floor that we need to get. Um, so let's take up this elevator and see what we get. I could have just forgotten something entirely there and gone past the point of no return, but I'll let you know if I have. Oh, behind me, of course. It always happens. There, B2. Time to let the monsters out of the cage. Knock, knock. neat how it actually does cut off at the point and like so this guy has like a super long chain and this guy has a short one you guys are all free now right do we have to do anything more hey Fergus of course you're the last one I recognize that voice anywhere Getting ready for the eternal nap. And this Nazi killing dummy bastard shows up out of nowhere. What have you been up to, Blastoise? Uh, recovering from brain being scrambled. <laughs> Shooting, stabbing, strangling Nazis. Ready to set things straight, Ferguson. Well then, we'll split on out of here. Kill every damn Nazi that gets in our way. Hey, careful with that door! Well, lost one of them already. Oh, careful. Jesus. How'd that blood get on you? That guy was miles away. Let me recharge here real quick, guys. Sorry. Careful. He 
You cannot shoot through that. Alright, continuing on. We'll drop down and get the get the surprise on him, if we can. Alright. Now, shotgun. Can we turn off this alarm? Uh, uh, uh. There we go. Inactive. Now, we have a shotgun. For sore eyes. Some actual bunch of uh, ammo and armor if we need it, but let's open this up and save our friends. Nice and close. Yeah, you had him. You had him the whole time. All these rest of these guys are fucking dead, though. Damn it. You and me, Blazkowicz. We are getting the fuck out of here now. Yep. You're the you're the chosen one. Destiny is ordained. That you be the one that survives all this shit. Hey, someone finally calls me BJ. Here's some shit for you too, yeah. What are you doing? Looks like a two-man lock. We have to hit these two buttons at the same time. On my mark, hit that button there. Ready? Ready. Three, two, one, mark. That was a little bit delayed, but whatever. Let them all loose. Prison break. Jail break. Shite. Oh, that works too. There you go. Cause hell, boys. Where are we going? This way? Come on. Let me switch to something a little bit more comfortable. Of course not. I shot a million of them before I got to you. Maybe not a million, but... Definitely more than you have. That dude was like a tank. He just did not go down. Pretty interesting wall there, huh? I'm an expert at this shit by now. Alright, now how are we gonna deal with this little shit? Do you suppose? Just like that. Become electrocuted. Are you done? No? Just stunned? Okay. I hope this is the right way. How did he get past Jesus that door anyway? Ooh. Yeah, you take oh, that with you. This we'll be Cover me while I open this gate. All right. What is it? S. Alt S. I'll just be smart about things. All right. There should be a a dog that comes out of this area. No problem. And then some folks up around here. Somewhere. There he is. And then one more over here. Not yet. Okay. Nope. Switch to the right mode. And also, don't forget about these things. They can kill you very quick, but they, you can actually destroy them now. Have to get this Keep my back covered, Blaskowitz. Yeah, yeah. I'm working on it. Inbound, 
Yeah, yeah, I'm beating them, I'm beating them as best as I can. Useless Nazi dolts! Alright. This guy takes quite a few of his bullets, but he'll go down if you just keep up the pressure. Ugh. Now, he gave us a second shotgun. And in here is some grenades, not a knife. I think that's it in here, right? Yep. Alright, back to cover. Basically just put a whole clip into those guys, and they'll go down. Thank you for the shotgun ammo. Hang on. I need you to cover me while I open this gate. This is something that's a thing of beauty. Those dual wielding shotguns. It, by God, it doesn't shoot through ammo, but we've uh, gone through here before, just in a much different circumstance. Now we can actually use all these helmets and things we left behind before. Oh, gotta lay down some suppressive fire. Or, we did lay down suppressive fire. Rather. Alright. And onwards we go. You doing alright there, Fergus? I feel bad for the next person who comes into my sight range. You do need a lot of ammo if you're going to do this, but... Oh man, is it satisfying. Yep, flanked him. No problem. And I'm in this little reception desk here. Another Enigma code. Just load up on ammo. And armor. Another such goodness. Now, I believe we go this way. Yes, yes. Anyone up here looking to ambush me? Eh? Oh, doggy. Alright, no problem. Oh, someone over there, Fergus. Now we don't switch to the laser, switch to the assault rifle. Keep at it, Fergus. You're doing good. Grenade. Good enough. Nope. Ow. Like an asshole. Fine, I'll push up to different cover. Little shit. Ooh, hello. Don't spook me like that. Put that grenade down. Now in here, ah, this looks like a little different bit of a helmet. And it is a gold helmet. And that's it. There's one more Enigma code here somewhere. If I can remember where it is. Ugh, getting a little rusty here. Getting a little bit of fatigue. That little shit. Alright, so that little shit with the shotguns got the better of us, but 
I never planned for this to be a deathless run. Doggy, are you still there? Yes, you are. Yeah, my, my big friends are still there too. Yeah. Hopefully they enjoy those grenades. This is probably a very stupid idea to just fire two shotguns down a hallway. Yep. Alright. Thankfully he's a horrible throw. I don't want that. Damn it. Alright, this guy's close now. Alright. So, the uh, golden helmet's gone now, but we still got it. Once you get it, it's it's gotten for good. Huh. How exhausting. Now let's go up this way this time. Oh, doggy. Doggy, doggy. Damn it. Quick draw. Alright, now up here, as before we so rudely interrupted, is the last collectible for level four, chapter four. So there they all are. Now, let's see if we can't get killed by a dude with a shotgun again, huh? Yes, we can. Good grief. Use this one for this guy. Great. Alright, did I get him? Oh, hello. I see you. Huh. Those heavy troopers, man. There's something else. Hello. Did I get him? I can't hear you anymore, Fergus. Sorry. Is this the same car that we saw earlier? I wonder. Come on, Blazkowicz! I've got it started! Hey, you're not gonna drive, huh? Uh, cue the sick uh, guitar riff. Ow! See ya! Woo. Goodbye! Hello. Friendly face. Hello? Who? What's all this now? Oh, shit. This is just like out of, uh... This is like just what uh, Captain Fury did, whatever his name is. Nick Fury did in uh, one movie. He just cuts through the... Through the... Uh, the street. Well, we're getting through here. No. <laughs> I can't believe you made it out of there. They're right over there. It's like we're not like out of eyesight. Do any of you know how to hotwire a car? We just did. It's a police car. Anytime, Fergus. They just stop shooting. Move up a little bit. Shoot some more. Anytime, Fergus. Good thing these cars are super armored.
Brick down on the accelerator. As long as we stay in this here mist, no one will see us. Right, this is the second part. We're jumping. Don't hesitate, just do it. As soon as you hit the water, you're gonna hold your breath and swim after me. Whatever you do, stay under the water. You break the surface, we're all dead. There are Nazis fucking everywhere. Now don't think about it. Just jump. All right, we're going to jump next time because that we are now in chapter 5. So, thank you all so much for watching. And until next time, see you.